Example 5. Determine vector equation of a plane with Cartesian equation x minus 2y plus 4z minus 6 equals to 4. Well, we we'll like to do this problem in two different ways. Okay, Let me use this method first. So what we will do is, we are given this Cartesian equation. We will find three points on this from this equation, right? So three points on the plane. Once we have three points, we can find two direction vectors and the third point and we get our vector equation, correct? So let's do that. So what we have here is like, let me just make a table for you to find three points. So what we will do here is, that's the equation, right? Let's say x is zero and y is zero, right? In that case, what is z? So, so if I write x as 0 and y as 0. Then let's find what z is. To find z, we'll put here 0, 0 and we get 4z equals to 6 which implies z equals to 6 over 4, correct? Uh, what is this? 3 over 2, right? 3 over 2. So we get 3 over 2, correct? Now let's say we have x as 1 and y as 1. And let's find what z is. So if we write 1 and 1 here, and then we get for x1, that means 1 minus 2 plus 4z equals to 6. And then we say 4z equals to 1 minus 2 is minus 1. We'll take it on this side, so we get 7 and z equals to 7 over 4. So we get z as 7 over 4. We are not really taking good points. So we are getting these kinds of results. Okay. Now let's take y and z as zeros. So in that case, x is equal to 6, right? That is a good point. So let's put 6 here and 0, 0 here, right? That's a good point. These fractions, we should normally avoid these fractions, right? So you should choose points where you could avoid fractions, right? So that will help us in do the problem better. So anyway, so we got this is a good point for us. And um, well, to get good numbers, we could have chosen some other points. But let's do with this now for the time being. So, so we got these points. Now, using these points, we can have two different direction vectors, right? So one could be between this and this, and the other one could be between this and this, correct? So we have direction one will be, let's say six minus this. So that gives us six, zero, and uh, zero minus three, we get minus three over two, correct? So that's one direction vector. The other vector is six minus this, let's take. 6 minus this is 1, 5, and 0 minus 1 is minus 1, and 0 minus 7 over 4 is minus 7 over 4, right? So these are our two direction vectors, correct? Now, we could write this as, we'll avoid fractions, and we could write this as 2 times this. So let's write down this as 2 times 6 as 12, 0, and minus 3, okay. And this one will multiply by 4, and 4 times 5 is 20, and this is minus 4, and here we have minus 7. So we've got two direction vectors, correct? So these are the two direction vectors, and we do have a point which we'll use 6, 0, 0. That's the best point we got. So we'll use this point and say, well, our plane, pi 1, could be written as uh, this point 6, 0, 0, plus s times 12, 0, minus 3, plus t times 20, minus 4, minus 7, okay? So that's first equation which we have got, and the method used here was uh, three points, right? So basically what we did here was we found three points, right? So find three points and then these were our three points right point one point two and point three and then we found two direction vectors let's say this is m1 and this is m2 correct 
these are the two direction vectors and once we have two direction vectors we wrote one vector equation right of our plane correct so so let me write down okay so that's the vector equation of a plane using these two direction vectors now the other method to do this is kind of using parameters right now that's kind of a tricky way of doing it but it's a very effective way of doing it so as you learned this is a Cartesian equation and what we can do is we can uh, assign some value to z right we can say let z equals to s and let y equals to t right if we have z as s and y as t then what is x equals to so we'll solve for x we we'll say x minus 2 times y is t so 2 times t plus 4 times s minus 6 equals to 0 right that means x is equals to we'll take it on the other side so we get 6 plus 2t minus 4s so that is the value of x right now we know x is this but what is y for us you know y is just t so let me just write t under t just to show you how i'm going to find the direction vectors and what is z for me z for me is s so i'm writing s here right now see the tricky part and see the graphics and you you'll love this way of doing it right so i can write y as a point going through zero plus this is like one t minus zero do you see that and z is zero plus zero minus s that means one time s do you see that so if i if you look at this this is the parametric equation right so this is parametric equation of a line do you see that why it is parametric equation because we are using the two variables well xyz more than two variables and we are trying to define them with the help of a third variable do you see that this is called parameter parameter is when you are trying to define two independent variables with the help of third variable so that's what we are doing so that's look at it like this now we will make normally from a vector equation we were making parametric equation right this time we will do vector equation from the parametric equation see how we define the parameters first so the first stage was defining parameters right and now we will write vector equation so from here what is the point for you the point is this six zero zero do you see that and what are the two direction vectors the two direction vectors for us are these the coefficients of t's and the coefficients of s do you see that those are my two direction vectors and therefore now i can write down my plane and i say my plane pi 1 is equal to you see r equals to uh, 6 0 0 right plus t times 2 1 0 do you see that 2 1 0 and here it is we s times 4 0 1 you say 4 0 and 1 do you see that so that is how we can write this equation in vector form using the parameters do you see so that is the beauty of this equation is a it's amazing way of writing it okay I hope you appreciate it and love the idea of doing it in this particular fashion right there it was like kind of very tricky right it's, this is an easy method though right you just find good points and I just didn't choose the right ones right I should have selected y and z values and always calculated x so I'll always get good values right I could have selected 0 0 and got some value of x 1 1 and got some value of x that would have been a better choice okay if I've done some calculation mistakes you can correct it but I hope I have explained you the two different methods right so we'll call them methods 1 and 2 so this was our method one and this was our method two correct but either way 
we showed how to write different forms of equations from a given form and this one from Cartesian to the other form is kind of very tricky. I hope you understand it and you appreciate it. Thank you.